Greetings, galactic team of 144, waking up, rising up, expanding and ascending through these most powerful portal openings. What a powerful three days we've had here with these equinox energies coming in. The next several days, all will be accelerating and ascending. So much has transpired since the last transmission. The energies that have been transmitted and downloaded have been fully grounded into the grid. I'll do my best to transmit some key points, key codes. Coming in through the nine, the nine angelics, the nine octaves. Last night, or yesterday evening, after uploading my transmission as I headed out to the sacred portal to the east, and I spoke of the Divine 44, my closest team, and the 44 Hertz. As I was driving, it was about an hour travel to the portal at my sister's home. The exit before where I had to get off, it was called Vrooman. It was exit 44, State Route 44, was the last exit before where I got off. And as I was exiting the freeway, there were massive cloud formations that looked like twisted knots. And I felt the galactic energy coming through them. Then as we were anchoring the love codes, the light codes, into the grid last night between 10.10 p.m. and 11.11 p.m., as we set a fire, the fire rising into the night sky, many glowing embers as the wind intensified by the moment and massive smoke and cinders, these sparkles flying into the night sky and the temperature just kept dropping as these intense, powerful winds were stoking the fires as these embers were spinning up into the sky and the nine angelic energies, which were coming in as the nine octaves of the elementals, the alpha being the first octave into the omega, the ninth. It begins in the zero point and ends in the zero point, which is symbolic of what people call the end times or the end of the cycles of the sine waves that we're transitioning through now as we're, we have fully entered the zero point energies. So that's why many people are experiencing going into the void, into the stillness, these moments of complete silence that are coming over many people's consciousness. So there are some symbols of the dragonflies. This morning I was awoken, it was pitch black. And it sounded like right above my head, this chirping, like a bird chirping. And then as the light came through the windows, uh, the curtains were full of dragonflies and this dragonfly energy. My sister, um, dragonflies, and myself, they come to me to connect us to the higher realms. My nephew comes through many times with the dragonfly energy and also the winged nation. We were surrounded last night by... In the evening, as the sun was setting, by the wing nations, and we had several, there's three angelic beings in the form of dogs in this portal that lived there, and this one precious little angel named Leroy, a little beagle, he's half beagle, half cocker spaniel, the most beautiful little face with little freckles. He just kept giving me kisses on my face, and my sister was cracking up because... She did this little doggy sleeps between her legs every single night under the covers. She had a lot of funny stories to tell. And I could just feel the pure love and energy coming from this little guy. And he's about two and a half years old. And she was cracking up because she said that her dog won't even give her kisses. And she made a joke and asked if I like rubbed steak on my face before <laughs> came over because the doggy was going wild. But... I think he was just enjoying my laughter. The more I laughed, the more he would give me kisses, you know. <laughs> I have a client with uh, two golden retrievers that, you know, I, I call it doggy therapy. I get doggy therapy and kitty therapy, doggy and kitty medicine as often as I can. 144 coming in. <laughs> Today it's been constant 44, 144, and 17, like nonstop 17 energy. So this... These golden retrievers, one's name's Cooper, and they know the door of my office, and they'll run up and 
the one dog that's a boy and a girl, Charlotte and Cooper. The boy always runs up to me and starts nibbling on my earlobes. <laughs> and it makes me crack up. And the owner cracks up and tells me that he only does that to little kids and me. And so I said, I am a child, you know. <laughs> As a kid, I didn't get adults. I still don't. <laughs> I mean, I get it, but it doesn't resonate with me. I always, I think I'm like, uh, what's his name? Peter Pan, the, the kid that never wanted to grow up. It's like I never wanted to take this realm seriously because I always knew it was a type of dream, a type of illusion, simulation, a resonance. That what always resonated with me was the animal kingdom and nature, not these man-made constructs or these concrete jungles, but the woods and the trees and the wildlife and the clouds and the sky and everything of the Tao, the way. Then this evening, as I was driving home, the most beautiful scarlet sunset into the aquamarine blue, and there was a massive ship that looked like a humpback whale soaring through the sky that was transmitting this beauty. And then there's a huge building by, like, downtown. I forget the artist's name, but he does the paintings of the undersea with dolphins and whales. That's in the sky, on this building, massive painting. And as I was traveling, this big truck came up in front of me and it had Atlas, this huge, it said Atlas and P-22 on the plate. And then as I f was behind him, we came up to 222 East 222. And as I arrived home and I checked my email, something came through about this comet called Atlas that as it's flying towards the sun that it grew in brightness way more than scientists were expecting so i posted a video on that i didn't get a chance to watch it 144 coming through again tomorrow will be the 2222 today's the 21 so we have the 222 energies and then t the, tomorrow the 2222 which will be the quadruple 11 the double 11 gateways the two pillars, pillars of freedom. So the freedom codes are fully in now over the last several days and last night, the full anchoring of the freedom energy, the freedom codes. Many of you are feeling those right now as the virus or the parasite, the false self of the false matrix that got converted from the Eden into the fall from grace into the negative separation programming as that's being uplifted as we're resolving transforming and transitioning through these ascension energies as we transition to the great awakening the event which this quantum leap of consciousness from homo sapien to homo luminous it will be a leap quantum leap like the blink of an eye we don't know the exact time or date but we know we're right on the precipice right at the threshold of this great dawning of the new earth, the new Eden, the new Jerusalem. We're all feeling this, all star blossoms fully activating, feeling this vortex into this zero point, into the still center as we anchor in through our practices, through our downloads, through our meditations, as we go deeper and deeper into that still center, and we anchor fully into into what you might call the foundation of the infinite experience of the old, of the emanations of source that has expanded and evolved into this now timeline where we have anchored in and we have blossomed and we are blooming and blossoming into the light, into the heavens, from the void into the void, through the heart center, as we're merging heaven and earth together to be fully activated and step fully, rise up fully into our power, into our co-creative infinite light, infinite life, infinite energy, infinite creativity. We are the way showers showing the way for the collective and how to live from the heart and how to connect on the deepest levels and the purest intent and awareness to assist all life in all realms, all timelines, to be freed from the suffering, from the duality, from the separation of our highest self, our truest self, source the great mystery into this present 
awareness and present vessel, the presence that we feel in our deep heart center. Today's first transmission from Octavia Vasil, channeled from the 9D Pleiadian Collective. Pleiadians, dare to imagine. We greet you all with love and strength for you to flow with the energy out there. We receive many messages about channeling and how it is done, why only some can do it, and why our messages seem to relate only to certain topics. We want to tell you something very important, something that will totally change the way you perceive things. You cannot tap into a reality that you did not imagine before, and you cannot imagine a reality which you did not experience yet. So to say, for us to provide further information and knowledge for you, you have to first to connect with those aspects inside yourself that are your star roots. We invite you to ask questions deeply from your heart and to see the images that form in your mind, dare to imagine, dare to dream about other worlds, read fantasy stories, children know how to do so, feel free to learn from them, and now as you did so, dare to create new visions for Mother Earth. This is how a new story begins. There is never a new one, actually. It's just remembered and brought back to life. Dare to imagine, and this is how you bring up a new world, created from old stories, always combined with new visions and lots of love. We highly encourage you to use your imagination to expect and know that everything is possible. This is how you open your minds and you step forward into understanding our messages downloading our codes and accessing parts of yourselves that you are not so aware of. More it is to be told and integrated, though. Keep in your hearts that nothing is really new, as everything is already inside your beings. Dare to remember. We blessed this transmission, and we are always here for you. Love and Light from Octavia Vasil. Energy Update by Archangel Michael, channeled through Asara Adams. Greetings, beloved ones. We send you blessings of love and light in this now moment, and we invite you to open your heart to our message for you. Dare one, when you look around in nature, you notice that the trees, plants, flowers, and so on are constantly growing. When you look at animal and human babies, they are growing. Besides the physical things, such as food and water that are part of the growth process, there is the unseen life force that causes the growth of all life. It is the substance of Source, God, that is the life force that is flowing through every human, animal, and plant. The baby, animal, or the plant doesn't have to say consciously, Please make me grow. They all simply do. It is the Source, God, substance that is continuously growing all life. It is effortless. The Source, God, substance is helping you to grow beyond just your physical form, it is helping you to grow your reality depending on what you are focusing on and engaging with. With your thoughts, beliefs, and focus, you are qualifying well-being or misqualifying negative experiences, the substance of source. You have free will to choose how you are using the substance of source that creates your world and reality. You can choose to open the faucet to all good things in your life as long as your thoughts, beliefs, feelings, words, and actions don't disagree with the well-being of Source God. As you go throughout your day, begin to pay attention to your thoughts and feelings. Do they agree or disagree with the flow of well-being of Source God? You might say, but what if I see unpleasant things in my world? To this we say, stop focusing and engaging with it and bring your full attention to the well-being of your inner world. Connect with the Source within you. Then look for and find the things of well-being in your world. This will open the faucet to the pure substance of source and well-being again and will create more of it in your reality. Your world and reality is responding to your focus and attention. Know that all is well, beloved ones. Welcome home. We are walking beside you every step of the way. Dear ones, you are loved beyond measure always. I am Archangel Michael. And I bring you this truth from teloschannel.com and from Mary Long. Think in terms of energy, frequency, and vibration. If we elevate our frequencies, we are healing this planet as a whole. Whether others are aware of what is occurring truthfully or not, we can help elevate the frequencies of all life on this planet. 
Mother Earth Gaia is always available to help in this form of energy. Know that we are very powerful beings of light. We have known for many decades this time was coming. It is in the now we continue to shine our light and help others come to a place of peace. Staying neutral through all of this is the key to shifting completely into our fifth dimensional conscious state. As we do so, our whole outer reality is changing. We are the alchemists of energy, creators in the essence of pure Christ consciousness. Welcome the new energies coming into you. It will help to accelerate the shifts that are occurring now. A complete global reset is occurring. Look for the signs all around you. Be observant of your own energy field. Continue elevating your loving frequencies. We are returning to our original blueprint. Many DNA activations occurring. They will become much stronger. It's time. All are being activated to remove the lower dense energies of this planet and elevate to higher planes of grace. All is always in divine order. We know your strength. We feel you growing stronger as the light continues to become brighter. You got this. We love you. And from the Zolkin Times, Kin 252, Yellow Overtone Human. The number five is called Overtone, and its key words are Empower, Radiance, and Command. The fifth day of a wave spell shifts the energy into a more intense pace. It's a get it done kind of day. If you use this energy rather than be overpowered by it, you can achieve an amazing amount. Think big and tap into this free energy resource. Today is yellow human and key words are influence, wisdom, and free will. Humans are vessels to be filled with wisdom that is channeled. However, we have free will to do what we choose with this wisdom. Use your intuition today and wisdom that it brings will be very empowering. The guide for the day is yellow sun, which represents enlightenment and universal fire. The process of going with your gut feelings will be guided by enlightenment. Expect light bulbs to appear above your head and answers to problems you've been seeking. This is a perfect guide for today. And from Christina Papagiorgio, yellow overtone human, 21 March 2020, radiant influence. 21 3 2020 equal 3 3 22 3 3 4 equal 10 equal 1 21 crown of the magi victory honors and rewards 3 the holy trinity joy creativity 4 form structure foundation angelic 10 manifestation power authority leadership 1 new beginnings Kin 252 equal 9, destiny, service, compassion, humanity. A double 3 3, holy trinity, spirit code for building our new foundation of peace and harmony. Day 5 of the spectacular yellow star wave spell, where we are awakening our sparkle and using our creativity to attract more beauty, grace, and harmony in our lives so that our lives become a living work of art. Day 5 of Lamat's wave spell is a deeply spiritual day filled with an abundance of yellow, golden energy from the combined energies of the star, yellow human, and yellow sun. It is a day of empowerment and radiance, a very powerful day for enlightenment and illumination. It is also a day which activates the question, what legacy would you like to leave on this planet? How can you as an individual use your creativity and wisdom to make this world a better and more beautiful place for future generations. Tone of creation, overtone. Tone five in the spiritual realm, action commands, power empowers, essence radiance. The overtone tone beautifully aligns with the theme of today's code of using your free will choices to empower yourself and others in order to shine brightly, command your radiance and spread your golden light. Today's question is, how can I align with divine wisdom, commanding the healing power of the Holy Spirit to empower and influence others through my radiant creations? Divine blessings for radiating greater influence today. In Lakek a Kin, Christina White, Magnetic World Bridger, Kin 66, Kin 252, 
yellow overtone human. The mantra, the code for today is, I am power in order to influence. Commanding wisdom, I seal the process of free will with the overtone tone of radiance. I am guided by the power of universal fire. So with this universal fire energy flowing through you, activating every atom, upgrading every strand of DNA to the 144 code, the 12 by 12 and to the 13, with the I am presence fully activated, fully aware, activating your free will, the freedom code is the individual consciousness tapping into and connecting to the cosmic consciousness, source consciousness, or what we call the unborn mind of Buddha, Buddha awareness, which is the pure, the clear, the still, the void, the zero-point energy, the full power within, the kingdom of heaven within, fully activated as we transmit externally that pure love, that pure light, that pure awareness, into the collective, into the field, to assist all life and Gaia and all beings in all realms. For all is truly one unity consciousness, experiencing infinite individual consciousnesses in one moment of bliss eternally. Here now, letting go into that feeling and rising up through it. It is with our total faith our complete faith in the universe, in the source, God, the great mystery, that we remember our oneness, our oneness with source, with true self, our highest self, and our oneness with every aspect of our manifestations, our emanations of love and life manifesting and activating in the all here now. So thank you for joining us today and our team of 144. Through this great awakening, this great ascension, let us know in the comments below what you're experiencing, what you're seeing, what you're feeling, your visions and your dreams. Many are seeing these ascension energies, the event energies coming through in many ways, knowing as this ascension accelerates, we are on the precipice of the great awakening, the great breakthrough as all veils are being resolved and dissolved and lifted. Now, if you're new to this channel, be sure to subscribe by clicking the subscribe button below and the little bell next to subscribe to get notifications on future uploads. And one last thing before I bid you all adieu, this energy coming through, and I'm hearing it on many levels, that we're at this point of, it's almost as if when you communicate to others and the collective as way showers that you may feel like you're either preaching to the choir or talking to a wall. We're at this point where we've reached out, the galactus have activated all the star blossoms, and now we're transmitting to those that are ready. And through that readiness, even if you touch one life to assist them in the ascension or activation, that will spread out through the field through the field of the golden grasses for each star seed to blossom into the light. So we put our message out there. We connect with the one to connect to the many. And those that are meant to receive the messages will. And those that are not quite ready will be when the time is right. And that is all written on the stars of our hearts. Aho.